Welcome scientists, it's Gisa from Butterfly Garden. Today I'm going to give you an introduction to mollusks. We have some friends that are joining us here today, Mr. Cuttlefish, Miss Nautilus, Mr. Squid, and Miss Octopus. Let's get started with our story. About Mollusks, a guide for children. Written by Catherine Sill and illustrated by John Sill. Mollusks have soft, moist bodies with no bones. Most mollusks have hard shells that protect their soft bodies. Mollusk shells grow from a special organ called a mantle. The mantle is a skin-like fold that covers their bodies. Some mollusks do not have shells. Baby mollusks grow from eggs. Most mollusks live in the water. Those that live on land make slime to help them move along. The slime also keeps their bodies from drying out. Most mollusks have a muscle called a foot that helps them travel from place to place. Some mollusks use their foot to burrow in sand or mud. Some mollusks move by sucking water into their body and squirting it out quickly. Other kinds of mollusks attach themselves to one place and stay there. Many mollusks are predators. They hunt and eat other animals. Mollusks with two-part shells filter food out of the water around them. Some mollusks have a rough tongue that can scrape off bits of plants to eat. Mollusks provide food for many animals and people. Mollusks are a valuable part of our world. It is important to protect them and the places where they live. That's the end of our story. Are you ready to join me in drawing some mollusks? All right, friends, we're gonna start by drawing the cuttlefish first. And um, all you'll need is a pencil, paper, and an eraser. Um, you'll start by drawing the outline of the cuttlefish. That'll be the eye right there. And then we're going to draw the tentacles. There are eight tentacles. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we're gonna draw the eyeball right there. We've got a little side view of the cuttlefish. There you go, there's your cuttlefish. Next, we're going to draw the octopus. Okay, just like the cuttlefish, the octopus also has eight arms, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're gonna start with a circle. Then you're going to erase 
this bottom part right there. And we'll start with the first little tentacle here. And the one here. And then we're gonna add one here. And here. All right, we have four. We need to add four more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we'll add one more back here. Now we're gonna add our little suction, our little suckers that the, that the octopus has on the bottom of his tentacles so that he can grow, grasp onto things. And there you have it, there's your octopus. Let's draw the squid next. All right, for our squid, let's count. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shorter tentacles, and then nine, 10 longer tentacles. So we're gonna start with a kind of a cone-shaped body, and then we'll make the head right here. We'll put the big eyes, one on each side. And then we um, are gonna add this part right here. And we're gonna start the tentacles. I'm gonna draw my two longer ones first. And then we need eight other ones on the side, shorter ones. All right. There you have your squid. Okay, for our Nautilus, we're gonna start with a swirl. And then close it off there. And then you're gonna make some lines like so. And we're going to go back in and connect these. Carefully erase the inner lines, leaving the outer ones intact. And if you have to redraw the out the outline, that's okay. Then we're gonna put the eye right here and finish it out like that. And there's your Nautilus. So you have all of your mollusks drawn then if you'd like, you can use colored pencils to color them in, or you can just leave them as a pencil drawing. Are you ready to join me in conducting an experiment? We are going to explore the purpose of an octopus's mantle. So as we talked about, octopus and squid are mollusks, and they both have dome-shaped heads and long tentacle arms covered with suction discs. Octopus have eight tentacles and squid have 10, and they use their tentacles to capture prey and pull it into their jaws. Um, these mollusks are able to change colors and squirt inky fluid to help escape from enemies. Because an octopus has no bones and no inside shell, um, it instead it has a tough protective wrapper called a mantle that covers its body and gives it shape. So we are going to conduct an experiment to explore the purpose of the octopus's mantle. What you're going to need is a cup of flour, a cup of water, a bowl and spoon, paper plate, paper cup, Ziploc bag, and if you'd like, um, you can also experiment with other small containers of various shapes. So you're gonna mix the flour and the water together. And 
and you can use a spoon or if you want to have a sensor experience you can also use your hands it'll get messier but that's okay as long as your mommy and daddy say it's okay as long as an adult gives you permission so I'm just gonna make sure that all the lumps are kind of out of this All right, so this is, we've now created kind of a runny paste, and we're gonna imagine that this is the boneless body of an octopus. First, I'm gonna spoon it onto a paper plate to see what happens. All right, so what happens when it's on a plate? It's pretty runny. What do you see happening? It moves around pretty easily. Is it staying in one place or does it spread around? Okay, now I'm gonna spoon some of it into a Ziploc bag. And we're gonna pretend that it's the octopus's mantle. All right, make sure an adult helps you seal it so that it's sealed all the way. All right, so now you can Use your hands to move it around, and what do you notice? Does it stay rigid? Does it move slowly, quickly? Can it be, is it malleable? Can it be moved in different directions? All right, now you can spend as long as you want manipulating the mantle in different, manipulating the solution in different containers. Now we're gonna try it in a um, paper cup that's much more rigid than the Ziploc bag we just used and more rigid than the paper plate. What do you notice about the solution in here? So keep experimenting, keep adding the mixture into different, um, maybe differently shaped cups or different containers that you have around the house and see how an octopus's mantle works. Thank you for joining us today. Remember to like and subscribe to support our channel.